Okay, let's get this started. Hey guys, it's Jaden back with a new video to share with the fam. Today, as you saw in the title, we are doing the long and awaited overdue Q&A. Since this is my first time filming a video like this, I thought why not do it like more of a get to know me type beat rather than trying to expose myself and give you guys my darkest, deepest, juiciest secrets. So the questions I'm gonna be answering are a little bit more on the basic side, but it's always fun to start out with the basics, so. Question number one. What is your full name? My full name is Jaden Taylor Gomez Hernandez. I have four names. I have one first name, one middle name, and two last names. Okay, we are gonna close the windows. Weird. Okay, back to the process. How old are you and when is your birthday? I am 16 years old and my birthday is July 15th, 03. I am a summer baby, you know, summer babies are look the best. And I'm a cancer. Where are you from? I am from the Bay Area. The Bay Area! <laughs> I was born and raised in Fremont, California, but now I live in Los Angeles. What's your ethnicity? I am Filipino, so... Yeah, I'm 100% <laughs> Filipino, that's pretty much it. My mom is Filipino, my dad is Filipino, but I was born in America, so technically I'm Filipino-American. And for those of you wondering, bonus question, I do not speak the Galog. I really wish I did, and I really wish I could, but you know, I'm gonna learn. So by the time I visit the Philippines next year or later this year, hopefully after quarantine, I'll be able to communicate with my people. How many siblings do you have? I have three siblings. We have a family of six. I am the second oldest. My older brother is Tyler, and then it's me, and then my little brother, Jacob, and then my little sister, Talia. Gorgeous. Favorite food and drink. My favorite food, I do have a very open palate when it comes to cuisines. Like I love Mexican food, love Filipino food, but I love Japanese food. Like I feel like whenever I eat sushi, it always hits. My favorite drink, on the other hand, is boba. When did you start dancing? I get asked this question a lot and I started dancing when I was three years old, so I've been dancing for 13 years now. Favorite genre of music? I am an R&B type of girl. Like, if you pass me the ox, we are simping to some simp R&B. Like, I do not care if the mood is happy. The best way to simp is to simp with your friends, to simp with your homies. So yeah, I'm an R&B type of girl. Favorite artist slash songs? My favorite artist, off the top of my head is Janae Aiko. I love her, she is so beautiful. I love a whole bunch of artists. Brent Fies, like I said, I'm an R&B type of girl, so anything, any artists along those spectrums are pretty relatable to me, so. My favorite song is by Janae Aiko. I can't say the title on here because we're gonna keep this PG-13, but I love that song. If I am playing that song on Ox or at a function or a kickback or if it's just me in the room, I am playing the album version on Chalombo. And that version is the best version, period. This next question I get asked so many times. It's been the same answer for 16 years and will probably be the same answer if we're not out of quarantine by the time my birthday hits. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I do not have a boyfriend. I've been single, living that single life, but that doesn't mean I'm not ready to mingle. What is your type? A lot of people also ask me this. I don't know why, but I'm gonna answer it and I'm just gonna finalize what it is. First of all, hygiene. You have to have good hygiene. Like you need to smell good, nice teeth, nice smile. Number two is respect. I am big on respect because you never know how people can be towards certain people. And I think just keeping a certain level of respect in a relationship is super important. I was raised where you should respect your elders, your parents, your homies, your girlfriend, your boyfriend. Like it, the respect level should be the same. So I think respect is definitely up there in the hierarchies of a relationship. Number three is motivation and just passion this goes for anybody actually but like when i see somebody who's so motivated to get something done or they're just so passionate about something like that's the energy i want to feel that's the energy i want to surround myself with having that in a relationship is super important to me and if i have that with my like lover then like we're just a couple that's just unstoppable so yeah what's your biggest pet peeve 
I have a lot of pet peeves. It's as simple as chewing with your mouth open or just smacking in people's ears like that or talking super aggressively for no reason. But I think my biggest one is when people just don't stick with their instincts or they just constantly switch up on people. My favorite TV show is the Vampire Diaries. I love that show, I'm obsessed with that show. Also, there's All American, On My Block, Victorious, Drake and Josh. There's a lot, but those are probably like my top five. How tall are you? I'm on the shorter side of the spectrum. I am five foot going strong. I look hella tall in photos when you see me on my social media and they see me in real life and they're like, oh my God, Jaden, you're so tiny, you're so short. What is your long-term goal or goals? My long-term goal right off the bat is just being happy, staying happy and making sure that every decision is worth it. Where do you shop on and offline? I don't really shop online. If I do, I'm probably on Amazon ordering something, but offline, I'll usually go to the mall and I'll probably go into Forever 21, Urban Outfitters, Zara, H&M, Zoomies, all those kind of stores. Who slash what inspires you to keep pursuing your dreams and goals? Okay, so for the longest time, to be completely honest with you, this was always the hardest question for me to answer because a lot of things inspire me. I mean, music, style, fashion, dance, just a whole bunch of people. And I think because there's so many things that inspire me in so many different ways, it was hard to narrow it down to one thing, but my best friend Mia Muggs, she helped me look at the bigger picture and the person who I look up to the most is my future self. Where I see myself in the future is the reason of why I'm doing what I'm doing today. And that is pretty much the reason of why I keep going because I strive to be the person that I see myself becoming in like five or 10 years or even 20 years or three years or just the future in general. So yeah, shout out to Muggs. Shout out to my other half, Maiden. Hashtag Maiden. What is the first thing you notice about a person? Okay, this is probably my favorite question out of the whole thing because the answer is like low-key an inside joke between my brother, my dad, and I. But the first thing that we notice about a person is their shoes. And that's not me like judging your shoe game. Like it doesn't really matter if you're wearing Dior's or Chanel's or Jordan's or whatever. It's as simple as if you're wearing some Nike Air Force Ones that are all white and they're busted, I'm gonna be like, Somebody doesn't take care of their shoes like that. What is your favorite thing about your career? I'm a professional dancer, if you didn't know, but I also act and model in the entertainment business. And my favorite thing about it is the fact that I get to see a bunch of new faces all the time and meet a bunch of new people. You never know how big or how little somebody is gonna impact your life. So the fact that I get the opportunity to do what I love and pursue my passion and meet and connect with a whole bunch of new people is crazy to me and I'm so blessed, thank you God. I mean, there's a lot of things that I love about my career, but those two are definitely the top two. Okay, we have reached the last question. Question number 21, last but not least, what accomplishment are you most proud of so far? That is such a hard question to answer. I think the biggest thing that has impacted my life so far is probably moving to LA. Moving to LA was completely my decision. It wasn't my family's decision. You know, I'm the dancer. I'm the entertainer in this big industry. And if I wanted to stay in the Bay Area, I could have, but I wanted to move to LA to make it easier for myself to make it easier for my family so we don't have to commute all the time. The fact that I was able to move to LA and have such a huge support system to make it happen, I'm thankful for that and I can't wait to see how many more accomplishments and how many more achievements that I can create. All right, Q&A number one completes. I really hope you guys enjoyed getting to know me. If you did, leave a thumbs up and comment down below some more ideas you guys wanna see because what you wanna see is what I wanna do. Also subscribe and also click the notification bell button for notifications for every time I post. With that being said, I love you guys so much and thank you so much for your constant love and support. Till next time, I'll see y'all soon. Mm -hmm.